Morning guys. As you can see, it's a dull, wet, cold. I was going to get my spuds in, but now I can't. So I'm just trying to tidy up. I'll do a little bit in the uh, house. I've got the ball beans. I've got them close. I've got them up. I've got them in it today I'm afraid one of them days just sort of can't get rid of this wind we can't on the east coast yeah I've got a little mouse has been bleeding living in my, my poly tower nipping in my shed I think there's a hole of hair it's getting through so I've got my bed to on that so I need to really move this right out of the way a lot of us starting to watch so you need to be put on a couple of little trestles. There's quite a few things blown about up here and all. But, we'll uh, plod on and see if I can do something like that. Bit of a cue. You can hear them when you get in here, We used to have loads of cats up there when we never had no mice. But now everybody's feeding cats. I don't mind, I need it after. They've got to be in the ground, but I can't just get to grips with it. I just put them up there. They're uh, courgettes and more cucumbers, I believe. Yeah, cucumbers and courgettes. And the potatoes in my box are looking okay. So I'll, I'll try and do something. Oh, right, guys, as you can see how quick the weeds, they just come over. I've got to get the edging in, but... I'm having a very hard job getting into this today, so I'm gonna. I've got some uh, alka doxy to put over in over that side. A couple. Now this one looked like this. That's got blitzed by the frost by the it. That one, so I'll put another one in with that one. This one looked like it's getting that hole. John was out with his dog early this morning, and he reckoned it was absolute freezing. Yeah, a touch of frost is hitting some of them. I thought there might be a bit more shallow here, so I'm gonna put. As I say, I'm gonna put these in. They've been sitting out all night, so it shouldn't be too bad. The Alcadolci, they've actually took more than the dwarf. Sorry about that clip. All the cameras did not want to play up today, and they, as you can see, I weeded through that bit. Look how quick the weeds come back. I got my work cut out, so I'm going to try and get along here. Both sides. Right, guys, that's done. Yeah, I've had enough. My knees are damp. Jack has got a cup of coffee. I think John's now going, to be quite honest. Can't get into it today. The wind has looked like it's ready to pour down on us. Go out of damp, it's easy to, to get the weeds out, but oh, I don't know. Morning guys, it's Tuesday morning. A little bit late this morning. Bug, I got a bit of a diggy belly. Thank everybody for commenting. Uh, right, today I'm going to try and get some potatoes in. It's still got a lot of wind. It's a little bit warmer, but as I said, I've been blooming freezing for the last few days. And, uh, I don't know. There's lots and lots of bugs about at the moment. Right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to get my little manners out. And I'm going to try and experiment. A lot of the farms around this area, what they do is they do two rows into one. So I'm going to do two rows next to each other, heave them up, and they are, they have a flat top on them. So it's obviously easier for the machinery to just go straight under and haul it all up. I thought about uh, just trying it myself. Footprints about. Oh dear, that wind is a bit of a bug. I'm going to get my jacket on. Alright guys, my plan is I'm going to do a double row. The farmers up this way are doing double rows. I'm hoping you can hear me because I think you're out of the wind. So what I'm going to do is I've got a big gap, very big gap. I'm going to go like this all the way along. This is just one row is going to be an experiment just to see how I can get on. I've got to leave extra space for mounting up two rows. See, I, I tend not to mound up straight away. Everybody else do. 
Now these are my main crop, which are, I believe, Picassos. I've been told that they do a really good crop. So what I'll do is I'll go along and back my rake in a minute. My, this soil, if you can see it, is really good because I manured it, I left it, then I rotivated it in. And, uh, oh dear, sorry about this. I've had a, a dicky belly today. <laughs> and whoever it was trying to kill me, that's what I'm getting to worry about now. Uh, she's alright, but she's worrying too much, my wife do. She's a certain age now, and uh, I think you don't realise when you start to hit certain ages, it uh, takes them away. You know, we we try to do as much as we possibly can, me and Helco, and we have done. It's like this afternoon, I will go home, I will pick the wife up and the dog up and we'll go for a walk. We've got a place where we can go for a walk, nice and quiet, with a dog, off the lead. He can run amongst everything. Uh, and, uh, you know, that's unreal. See, I'm a toy boy, really. It's a good job she don't watch this, isn't it? And Alison, I can know you were bloody laughing. Ali D, now you're laughing. All right. As you can see, if I can get it in like that. So I used to use a bowl plant all the time. Norm has just told me he's got about like, 15 rolls in. Hi right, guys. Now, it's four. Sorry about that if you've not been looking. The glass out. These will be mounted up really big. I see I'm a little bit of a bugger. I like to see if when the first shoot start to come through, I will uh, I'll mound up normally. I'll stop you for a minute. they're going to get doubled up. A lot of people moving around today. They've cheated well, that's one good thing. Right, if you can see what I mean. So two rows are going to be very close together. Oh, I'm just getting up. Right, I'll shut this off. I'll show you they're finished. Right, guys. There's two rows. I'll cover them up now. I've got plenty of side to do it. And what I'm going to do now is I'm going to put a line here and I'm going to bowl plant. I just want to see how that managed their two rows there. All right, this well, it's going to be bowl plant. And they're going to be slightly close together. Six inches. So I've widened the rows, so I'm going to try and get more spuds in in this short space. We'll see how we go. See if you can see. I'm going about five inches down, six inches down. See, the trouble is when you do it like this, you have to dig them, dig them right out. It's more harder work on open, not putting them so low in and earthing them up more. It's going to make my life easy. It's not going to be as easy as my tubs, but I've got to get my watering system on my tubs sorted out. But if you look at the sky, I keep saying we're going to have some, but I can't see it. When I first used to start doing spuds, I, I used to put slug pellets in with them. But I think that used to rot a bit of the edge. Strange. Hi guys, there's one round. 
18. So we will see how we go. Hi right, guys, there's another row. So what I'm going to do is this to our Swede, there'll be another row. So I'm going to do where the beat are, where the beat is, look at that bugger. I don't know where to just let it go. But I can't at the moment. I've now run out of puff at the moment. Yeah. So just about this side of this netting would be another row, I would say. Let's tell you there. We'll have a look. I've got my, I've got my coffee. Yeah. Just about the other side of that. You can see that. So if I go from here, uh, should I leave my beat? Guys, I've got that weight over ready. See, that'll be a line there. So I'll put this just in, just went down there. That'll be a row. I might need to be in to see how far I'll go. <laughs> be interesting. That's got to be. I'll have to have a look at my video when I put that beat root in, so I can possibly get one, two, three, four rows in here. So four rows. It's a double row at the beginning, five, six, one there, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a double, eight. Eight rows there, so I might have to put some somewhere else. Pop some on the plot the other side. But the old wind's picking up, they say it's going to rain. I could do with the rain. Jack's telling me that I should walk on my tub, so I'm sorry about the, the wind. I'm trying to pack up, if you can understand. <laughs> Sorry about this. Oh god. Oh, here we go. Ignore the wind. I should really play cool this my but when I get up here I want to try and do so much in a short time. Right. I'll turn it over and crash back and forth. That's what I was saying, as Jack said to me. We had rain the other day quite a bit in there. He said you want to water them but to be quite honest, there's only the compost on the top, but if you look underneath, it's very moist. So I'll keep an eye on them. What I'll do is I'll dip my hand in every now and then, and I'll get this lot pumped. That's a day when the wife's down here, she could stand and she could pump my big tank out, which I need to put on pallets, fill these up. But I need to put pipe from pipe from pipe from pipe, yeah? You know? Need to put some covers on some of these and all. Yeah, that one and all. See, I've got the hole in this one. Put it down into there. Put the hole through here to there. And then I'll have to possibly go from there to there. I don't know, but we're, we're getting warm. Right, look at this lot. They know what they're going. There's a little. Someone keep knocking my blooming slope down. I'm going to have to put up squirt, I think. Right, guys. I will uh, put this up tonight. Hope you're all staying safe. Uh, and, uh, well, probably more rain would be nice here. They're forecasting fast tomorrow. Right, bye. I'll put it up tonight. Thank you very much for watching.